Hey guys, this is a GE top load washer. So the knob did this a couple of days ago. It won't grip. So it it is loose. I removed it. There's a clip inside. I took it off. This is the clip. Sometimes you might need a flathead screwdriver and a flashlight to see it but it's there and then a long nose pliers the reason why it does that because it doesn't have any more of that teeth to tap on the sides okay so I bought this from Amazon cost me five bucks and change this is the knob and it comes with its own clip okay let's put it on okay so I, I took it off this this is the new part we'll just put it back in Then this is the knob. Okay. Okay, after I put the new knob in, I was able to turn turn the dial, but I was not able to engage the stop. To engage the stop, you need to push it back. That's the stop. Okay? I was not able to do that with a new knob and upon comparing to my original knob this is the original knob they are similar in diameter outside but the new knob has a wider diameter inside that's why it's not engaging the stop stop uh, function of the knob okay so what I did was I stuffed some stuffed some rubber tubing inside this is from a um, bicycle tubing okay but from the bicycle wheel that I don't use and then I put some plumber's tape on the tip okay so let's try it on so remember this part number this part number is too wide in diameter inside. Now the clip is there. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. Okay, I have to use both hands to push it in. So it's in now. This is to pull the knob to start. Okay. And to stop. And to turn. Okay, and start. There we go, it's fixed. 